My name is Lori and I do actual commissions for a living and all I do is freelance paint. I started about four years ago. I was going to a private school in New York and transferred to Long Beach and originally I had been in graphic design and when I transferred, you know, the classic, they lost my transcripts, I couldn't get in any classes so I had to go into studio art and it was funny because I had to go take a intro to painting class and I remember I was crying, I was like, why would I take painting? I can't do anything with that, who paints anymore? And so I took the class and just absolutely fell in love with it. And the teacher was like, you've never painted before? And I ended up quitting school after that because I just felt like it was my calling. If you were to ask most people about me, you know, growing up, they're like, you paint now? Because I was always the sporto chick, you know? I, was, I played softball, I got a scholarship for it, I never did art. You would never guess or anticipate it was gonna, um, I was gonna be an artist, but my mom actually, she'll love that I'm saying this right now, but she always was like, you know, your, your sketches, like I'd always doodle on things. She's like, you look like you have some artistic skill. You should take art classes. And I was just super ornery and it's like, no, I wanna play sports. Who does art, you know, there's nothing in that. I've become extremely diverse. You know, I'll go from, you know, a customer will request that it's, you know, more of a Monet styling, you know, very impressionistic. And then someone else will want just a really tight photorealistic portrait. So, um, you know, I've just challenged myself and that's where, because I'm doing a painting every week, I've been able to um, advance my technical skill that quickly. I think anytime you have water, realistically rendered it already creates interest so you know my brain automatically goes to what's really interesting in artwork when I'm looking at art what grabs my attention it's always something with water lighting and um, refraction of some sort so anytime you so obviously a you know I did this wine glass painting that was in front of Morro Bay so it inverted the sunset which is interesting to begin with with the glass it inverts the image and then with the water refraction I think you know and that's one of my most popular paintings I took that one intro to painting class where I learned basic color mixing um, <laughs> sizes of brushes what materials to use and then after that honestly I, I quit school and just went on my own and I actually think um, it was better for me to just develop on my own and learn it, you know, self-taught. I work mainly in acrylic. Sometimes I'll do multimedia piece if I'm doing something free form, I'll add a newspaper and other elements, but you know, m for the most part, any commission, I really like using acrylic. I use strictly Liquitex heavy body um, acrylic paint. It has the strongest pigment. I really, really just want to broadcast the idea that anything you want to do if it's your passion that you can do. Um, I think the most rewarding thing is when I'm talking about my art and people are like, wow, you do it for a living. And they're like, wow, I really, you know, I'm really passionate about this. And they start talking about what their hobbies are and like, wow, I really would love to do that for a living. Like, I just want to show people that if you really are passionate about something and you work hard, you can do it. And I just love the idea that I can inspire someone with my artwork. And, um, you know, on top of it, every project, when you give people some type of personal piece of art, like they just are so happy and that's the best feeling in the whole world. So I guess um, I would love to be on a grand scale. You know, obviously I have some monetary goals, but it's really to just keep progressing um, with my own career and getting into bigger galleries and getting bigger projects that reach out to more and more people. So it's not really an egocentric thing as much as it is. I would love to spread the idea that you can really do what you want to do. My friend Robbie Crawford actually was one of the first people to start using a GoPro uh, beyond Clark Little and do these amazing splices. He'd go down to the wedge, which is one of the few places in the world where the sunlight actually comes through the barrel and do these amazing shots. And so I just asked him, I was like, man, I really want to try to paint that. Would you allow me to do it? And he was nice enough, let me do a few. And people just, it was crazy the response I got. So now I get, you know, I'm following all these different people on Instagram who use the GoPro and do these waves. And um, I have a lot of people who request me to do the lorry waves. And so anyways, I'm doing one of those next week. And I found this amazing shot um, a photographer had taken where there was ripples in the front of the water. And I think, um, you know, it's a really interesting moment where if you're not a surfer, you would never capture that moment and be inside the barrel. So I think that, you know, again, it's using distortion. It's using light. It's using water and the ocean. and I think it's just a really, really amazing thing to put in a house that's serene. And so anyways, I'm going to do another one of those next week for someone who actually I've done a fitness competition with and she requested that she wants one of the lorry waves. So that's what I'll be doing.